It's awesome, look. It says Quest Clear in the bottom. Anyway, yo! One million troops. One million troops. Wow. We just hit a million subscribers. It's kind of a big number, right? Honestly, I kind of wasn't prepared for it to be today, uh, although it's not actually today because by the time you're watching this video, it might have been yesterday. I'm not entirely sure when this video is going up because the honest truth is, I, I kind of wasn't prepared for it to happen quite yet. Even though you can look at the subscriber count on your channel, you can look at things like Social Blade and get a rough idea for when things are gonna happen. I still kind of thought it was gonna happen like next week. So this video is definitely like a kind of a reaction to things being like, oh, Oh dear, I, I, I kind of should probably do something because it's happened a lot sooner than I thought. So forgive me for being a little bit unprepared, but thank you for being awesome. Obviously without all of you guys, this wouldn't be possible. The fact that you've clicked subscribe, the fact that you've continued to watch our videos, the fact that you've stuck around means a huge amount more than I can convey in this video, but thank you so much. Honestly, it's awesome and at some point once I actually kind of get things together, because it's a really busy time, right? Like next week I'm out the country, Gamescom is coming up, there's a lot of games coming at the end of this year. We're getting to a very busy time, but rest assured we'll do something really, really cool and we'll kind of like give back to you guys. We'll probably plan like a massive giveaway to give you guys a chance to win some cool stuff. So rest assured, I'll be doing my best to try and give back to you guys. But in the interim, thank you so much. And that's not just for me as well, that's from the entire Arix Gaming team because really, really important to note that I can't say thank you for a million subscribers without ensuring that you guys know. You guys need to know that it is not just me. It has never been just me. If I could go back in time and I could change the name of the channel, I honestly would never have called it Arix Gaming because it's never just been Arix Gaming. Like 269 is the person that, he told me to create the channel. Way back when we used to work at Microsoft, he was the one that was like, yo, we should create a YouTube channel. We should cover Destiny. We should cover Division. We should cover Monster Hunter. He's been like the mastermind behind a lot of this stuff. And while you might have heard me and I might be the one that creates some of the videos, it's always been a team effort. And of course, along the way, we've also picked up Paradise Central. He's been with us for two years now. We've got Vesmore, who's been with us for a year. We've got Taylor, who has been with us for about six, seven months now. So the team is growing. And of course, some of you may have heard them on YouTube videos. Some of you may tune into their streams, but they are all an integral part to Arix Gaming. And honestly, without them, this would not be possible. The kind of, you know, as we get bigger, as we do more, as we try to do more, it's just far too much for one person to take on. So when we hit a milestone like this, it's not just me saying thank you, it's everyone saying thank you, but it's also important to make sure that you guys know that everybody is involved. But anyway, enough rambling. I'm gonna say thank you various times throughout this video, but I thought it would be fun today to uh, go back down memory lane, take a little look back and kind of watch some old videos. This is uh, gonna be incredibly cringy because invariably anything you do you get better as you go. So uh, going all the way back to 2013, <laughs> I haven't done this for quite some time. So grab some popcorn, grab your coffee. It's gonna be fun and it's gonna be hella cringy, but uh, I've selected some videos, all right? And we're gonna start, we're gonna start uh, all the way back, right? With uh, the very first video I ever uploaded on this channel. Hey, the, the intro though. I mean, this was far too long. You never want a YouTube intro to be this too long. This too long, this long. But, uh... Yo, what's going on YouTube? Uh, <gasps> oh, I remember awesome. this. I'm Alex, and this is, or oh, welcome to Arix Gaming, the new YouTube channel. Look at my room. Um, for those of I used to have green walls. Channel, then welcome back. For those of you that Shout out to the Fanatec Wheel. Then, Had a little steering wheel. I used to play Forza a lot. Um, if you're wondering kind of the sort of things that I've done before, then... What's with the posture? Sit up, uh, man. Oh my gosh. Other feature channels on the side or in the description box down below just to sort of see the other things. But basically, this is our. You know, I had hair back then. So you'll get you know, reviews, gameplay, walkthroughs, unboxings, anything you know you come to expect from a gaming channel. Um, Alright, let me just pause it there. So you see, th so this is like, right, so this goes to show, obviously, right, that I mean, you always improve in anything you do, right? That, that That's hella cringy, okay, right? And we'll go back and see some more in a minute. But. I want to use this as an opportunity to say something because a lot of the time people will often say to me, hey, Eric, you know, I want to start a YouTube channel. Where do I start? You know, what should I do? What do I need to know? I need to buy like the right mic, the right capture card, the right stuff. And honestly, the first thing I always say to everyone is just start. Like seriously, back then when we made those videos, I didn't know how to make the best videos. I didn't know what the best equipment was. I didn't know how to get the best quality out of my videos, out of my audio, anything. 
the thing that you just have to do is you just have to start, right? And you'll improve as you go along. Sure, there's a ton of stuff you need to learn. You know, you need you need to learn how to edit. You need to learn how to be able to speak on camera or speak off camera. You need to learn to be able to, you know, pace yourself and pace videos and edit thumbnails and do SEO and do titles and everything, right? But none of that stuff you will learn if you don't just start, right? So back then, I, it's funny because not on that video, but most of my videos, I when I first started, I didn't even have a proper mic. I had like a headset mic, but I didn't use it as a headset. I used to turn it around, stand it on a desk, point the little mic up so it was like a real mic, and I would speak into it. That's how budget my setup was to begin with, but uh, it's kind of how you have to start sometimes. So, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Confidence comes a long way as well, right? Back then, like, I was I was super scared to talk on camera. Like, if I couldn't have a friend in the same room as me and record a video, like two six nine, if ever we li we lived in the same house when we worked at Microsoft, he used to have to leave the room for me to record audio. So, yeah, okay, all right. Well, that's that's that's. If you want to watch that entire video, you can go back and sort our videos. Like, look at all these videos. Like, we've been we've been doing this for a long time. Like, woo, over three thousand videos. You can go all the way back, and you can uh, you can you can um. Sort by oldest and watch uh, watch your boy's first video. What do we have after this? What do we have? We've got... Oh! Okay, okay, okay. So, some of you may have discovered me from What's Hunter World. Uh, some of you may have been there from earlier. Some of you may have kind of found me around for Ultimate. Some of you may not realise I've actually been covering Monster Hunter. I've been playing since Freedom Second and like Freedom Unite. I've been covering it since 3 Ultimate. And uh, I, I, did, I did tutorials back then. They weren't very good. <laughs> um... That intro though. That was the original. I made that logo as well. That's that was made by me. Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome to the Sword and Shield part of my Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate tutorial. <laughs> Gonna jump straight into the basic moves here. Um, so if you start off by pressing X, that's your standard sort of down slash attack, and you press A. Love this game though. Standard horizontal attack. Now you press X three times, and that is your standard bread and butter combo. And that's so definitely not your standard bread and butter combo. <laughs> Let me tell you that. Now these can be linked together. I made mistakes back then. I mean, back then I didn't know all the information. I tried to, you know, the, the thing is like when when you kind of do the tutorial, sometimes you're like, oh, I think I know this game. I want to try and help people. So, you know, I created those videos without the best intentions, but I didn't know half the stuff that I do now. But, uh, whew. So you can do XXX, AA, the audio was out of sync in this video as well. Um, things like that. Pretty Oof. That is a no-no. That is an editing no-no. Like, you can you can look past like slightly bad video quality, but if your audio is out of sync, no one will ever be able to ignore that. All right, what are we? We're gonna. I'm not gonna watch all these videos, by the way, because if we watch every single video's duration, we'll be here for a very long time. Um. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. My first ever unboxing video. YouTube. Right, Alex here and Fred Adam as well. What is with my hair? <laughs> unboxing of the new 3DS for Monster Hunter. So you've got the other stuff here as well. We've got the Monster Hunter 3 oh, Ultimate DS game. The this was shot and in the house we lived at in Reading. When yeah. when we worked at Microsoft, it was me, 26, Adam and shout out to Tarek as well. And Adam bought the 3DS because I already had it. So he bought it because I got him into Monster Hunter. And he agreed to let me unbox it, but obviously because it was his console, I wasn't going to unbox his console. So he, uh, we, we dragged him into the video for us. Yes, um, so I'm going to pass it over to Adam because it's his DS, so he's going to unbox it for us. Um, this obviously doesn't actually have a lot in it, it is pretty much just the DS, there's no kind of game in it because it comes pre-installed. Club points. Two six with the cameraman for this one. Shout out to those camera it. angles. Pre-installed with Monster Hunter, I don't know if it's got any battery on. Wait, that, oh, that wasn't even a special 3D. Oh yeah, that was just the pre-installed one. That was just a, oh no. Well, you probably have to go through your initial kind of system setup. So. <laughs> okay, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, look at this. Okay, so for those of you that want to play Cube World. Uh, Memories. Uh, Anyone remember Cube World? We used to do guides for Cube World because we thought that one day this game was going to come out. This game is still in alpha or beta or whatever it is. The, the, the creator occasionally tweets something to be like, something is coming. No, it's never going to happen. This game is never coming out. Okay, so for any of you that were looking forward to this game and have been kind of watching the site all week, you will know that but, in the of the week the, the site went down. Progression-wise, from like when I first started, my audio was starting to get slightly better. This was sort of like when I was starting to find my feet a little bit. Still not great. Still not as much like personality in it. Still very like, sounds like I'm kind of 
sad and you know depressed in it, but it's 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 getting there. So busy, there were problems, so they kind of had to take the shop offline for a while. Oh, this this right here's his here's how actually like it's one of the one of the ways we started to like early on in the channel started to generate like a decent amount of traction. I imported my PS Vita, both me and two six. We imported our PS Vitas, and way before I had a capture card for it, I literally used to put a camera on my desk, point it downwards, hold my Vita like this, and try and play the game through the camera screen. Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another one of my Killzone Mercenary videos. So, I have just finished playing Campaign. It is a really good game, and it is definitely the best handheld FPS, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, I figured I would put up the final mission. And the place is about to crash and burn. Get to the gameplay part, like, where I'm, where I'm trying to sort of like show this. This was my struggle, right? I'm sitting here trying to play the game, and like it, you end up you end up with these recordings like it's such a bad back because you're sitting like this, trying not to move the the controller because you don't want to you don't want to mess up um, like the camera angle. Oh my, good days. All right, all right. I did a lot of stuff for PS Vita because when we when we imported it, we used to import and like play just like Japanese games and stuff. And that was uh, I think that was actually on the channel before this one. There was like a Arix channel just to start with. It was kind of like our testing ground where we learn how to do things and whatnot. But okay. Oh, all right. So some of you guys may know this, depending on how long you've been here. We used to do GTA videos. This is way before, like this is when GTA 5 was on 360. This was like way before um, GTA was like, or like GTA, the YouTube scene was like a thing. Um, Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another one of my Grand Theft How-Tos. I made that logo. How to save your vehicles this time. So for those of you that spend money and time modding your cars, you're obviously going to want to hang on to them. So this is one for you. So let's jump straight to it. You go to a house, you have a garage, you can park your car in that garage, and then that's one place to store your vehicle. Oh However, my gosh. there are also other garages located around, um, basically around the town. Or yeah, audio still needs, like, my, 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 my speech in that was still not great. I was still, I was still, I was still like, super nervous when it came to, like, recording those videos. It still took me, like, a long time. I think a lot of the time I used to script my videos early on. That's, like, a something else for people to, like, note as well. If ever you're kind of starting out and you're, you're fumbling with your words, you're kind of unsure a little bit, then scripting can often be, like, a great way to, to slow you down, to pace you. Like, I used to... Some of you guys might think I speak fast now. I used to speak really fast back in the day, um, and scripting kind of helped sort of pace that and whatnot. But yeah, we used to we used to cover GTA for a while. Uh, in fact, there's quite a few. There's a few GTA videos here. We used to cover GTA for a bit, and I kind of I, I always I always think like what would happen if we if we continued to cover it. It kind of got to the point where this was early in our YouTube career, and we're like, we got to that point where I ran out of ideas. I was like, I don't know what else to do, so I just stopped covering it. But had I continued it, who knows? Maybe we might have hit a million much sooner. Maybe this would have been a GTA channel. Who knows? Two six edited this one. This is his uh his montage video. <laughs> you know one of the worst things about trying to record GTA videos with friends is there's always that one friend who's just like they'll just put C4 on everything and just blow things up. Like despite the fact that you might spend hours trying to set something up, they're like, haha, it's funny. I'm like, it was funny the first time. Not the next like fifteen times you blew something up. Well, fucking get out! <laughs> oh <laughs> dear. Any lower, and I'm gonna be scraping the ground. Oh wait. Wait, hang on. Where's is it? Is it this one? What's going on, YouTube? If you haven't already seen the video, we are. Go, 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 let's do this. No, not this, 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 this is not the one. This is the one. We did a little B, BMX montage. In fact, we're going to watch the whole thing because this one, this one, we spent, we spent ages doing this. We thought our tricks were cool. I know people do better things than this, but we got a whole squad together. That intro. Oh, I remember cycling all the way up that bridge. <gasps> Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh yeah, we've got someone in a helicopter to fly as like cameraman for the scene. That was so cool. I remember just thinking like being able to jump over a hedge was like a really cool trick and I was like, yo, I'm the best I'm the best BMX player in GTA and I was like, yeah, no 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 no. Look, I'm just like, look at me. That is I've seen people do some crazy stuff now and I'm just like, this is this is not clip worthy. Who thought jumping off a hill was a good clip? This was still cool though. This, this, like, this is, this is, this is before drones were a thing. Yeah. 
And there was a cool thing later though. I think there was a, I think I did something on the mountain. If I remember this video correctly. That actually took quite a little, that took a, it took a while. We kept on overshooting that one. I kept on falling off. Like, yeah, everyone else kept on falling off. But that was, uh, cycled all the way up the mountain. <laughs> oh dear. It's actually really not a very good montage. <laughs> I was so proud of this at the time as well. I legit thought this was like a brilliant video. Oh yeah, that, 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 that was my little, and then I fell off the mountain. But see, you live and you learn, right? What else we got? Oh, this is a funny clip. This one went viral, not on YouTube, but this got picked up by Worldstar Hip Hop. 26 made this video and they posted it on Worldstar Hip Hop. Would you believe? Oh my gosh. Oh, we changed the intro for this one. Okay, okay. Yeah, this was the time when I was working at Microsoft, working on Xbox One, uh, the video platform called Upload. Oh, wait, hang on. Sorry. There we go. Yo, what's going on, YouTube? And what am I wearing? So, um, if you haven't already seen this video, <laughs> what am I wearing a vest? Then please do go and check it out. Basically, today is the 2nd of January and Double Helix released a patch okay. for Killer Instinct for Xbox. Yo, I love Killer Instinct though. Killer Instinct was so good. 75 megabytes, so there are quite a few changes, you know, a few gameplay changes, a few kind of like Killer Instinct. This is where a few kind of balance I was trying to introduce like more cool face cam stuff. stuff. So don't know it, then head over to the video, check Try it out. Try and sort of get people to know, know me and whatnot. Yourself. But the reason I'm putting together this video... This game though, man. This game was so good. Two different costumes for two, two different characters. As Orchid in her classic costume. Now, so... Okay. All right, all right, all right. Oh, one of my first vlogs, 2014 E3. Oh, okay, okay. Yo, what's going on YouTube? And welcome to <laughs> oh my vlog. God. So, uh, I wanted this to go out yesterday before I actually went on my flight, so I'll kind of do one to sort of set the scene. I am so glad I, I got rid of that beard. Uh, I'm so glad I grew out a proper beard. People used to like, my, my friends used to clown on me and be like, get a proper beard. I was like, no, man, it's all about the chin. Oh, no. I mean, no, nothing wrong with chin strap bits, but for me, it was not. My, did I just speak on a camera for ages? Is that what my vlog was? It was literally just me speaking on camera and then one shot of the Microsoft press conference and more on the camera. Oh, my gosh. Arix, young Arix, 2014 Arix. That is not a vlog, my dude. <laughs> all right, all right. Oh, this is this is. I mean, this, nothing crazy to see here, but this is obviously we started covering Destiny around uh, well, around the Alpha. Started picking up. This is really where the channel started to properly take off for us because Destiny. Yo, what's going on YouTube? And welcome back to another Destiny beta video. In this video, I'm going to take a look at all the superpowers for Starting the to get some classes. more like confidence in my voice Within there. Within each subclass, you have a superpower that you can use to inflict devastating damage. Destiny's where I started to, where we started to do like daily video content. Because of the because of the kind of game that Destiny is and obviously being like one of those, you know, persistent games, it lent itself really well to being like a game that you can just play all the time and cover all the time. Because a lot of the time before, I mentioned like the GTA scenario, like we do a load of videos and then I'm like, well, what else do I do? Whereas Destiny, there was always something to cover. So that's kind of where we started to do daily videos. So that was like a, that was a turning point. Oh, okay. You prog it's a progression, progression. Most time to four ultimate weapon tutorial. Okay. Let's see. Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to another Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate video. Capture card. Now in today's video, I'm going to continue with the weapon tutorials and we're going to take a look at the second new weapon, which is the Charge Blade, also known as the Charge Axe in Japan. Now, if you didn't catch my last Monster Hunter video, then I put up a tutorial on how to use the new Insect Glaive or Insect Staff. So if you want to know how to use that Just weapon, jump forward thing, a little bit. I could go X, X and A. Cool. The other interesting thing is that you can also use a charge attack. To so these were better, right? I feel I feel like this was like progress in the in the whole sort of like YouTube timeline, so to speak. But these ones, I remember these ones. I did these ones slightly differently. So my my weapon tutorials are still one of the things that to this day I script because I want to make sure I get everything correct. These ones I didn't quite script it. I wrote down bullet points for what I needed, but that still made it so that I would sort of you know lose my words sometimes and fumble in between. So I was kind of happy with how they were. I missed a few things in the these videos, um, but. 
that laid the foundation for me to improve. Because if I if I then go forward to to generations, hang on, here we go. This was the other new. This was the, I think this was the intro just before. The, Yo, what's going no, on, guys? Aaron almost. Here, and welcome back to another Monster Hunter Cross video and another episode of. This is where we actually called the weapon workshop. I made that logo. If any of the previous episodes, you can find a link to the playlist in the description box down below. However, this week we're turning our attention to the charge blade, a weapon that was once known for being overpowered. Yeah. In Monster Hunter yeah. Cross. This is where I scripted, so there was like a lot more. Changes is now a lot more balanced. It's still an amazing weapon, but it's different to the charge blade you used to know. This video, however, won't be going over the changes specifically. So if you do want a concise video explaining I think I exactly how the weapon one, right? differs when compared to Monster Hunter, yeah, I did, I did, yeah, yeah. So this is this is oh, where I really kind of like started to dial in on like the the button stuff. So I had I had button prompts at the top, not actual physical buttons. I wrote them, um, but this is kind of the the in between step between this and the world you stuff. Can go X and then A, or X X and then A, or a whole combo like X X X and then A. Also, after any attack, you can press left or right and B Love to that sidestep, well. and you can then follow this. Yeah, so that's that's kind of the, that's that's sort of our progression. We go from the three ultimate videos where I'm just like I don't know what I'm talking about, and I'm just like I'm in an ring and bad audio and bad video quality to like four ultimate where there's some structure generations. Then obviously you fast forward now to like in fact let me just let me just bring one up really quickly. I didn't actually get it for this video, but let me just uh, I was super proud of these ones. I spent ages recording these clips as well. This one I was so happy about. When that happened, I was like, "Yo!" And of course, the the all the the last Arix gaming intro. Yo, what's going on, guys? Arix here, and welcome to my very first and that's much more workshop for right Monster now. Hunter World. For those of you that are new, this is my weapon tutorial series for Monster Hunter, where I go over absolutely yeah, yeah, yeah. everything. Anyway, you guys, you guys, you guys have seen that. You guys have seen that. Anyway, there you have it. That is pretty much it. There was uh there was one more little bit, but. My camera overheated and ran out of battery, so uh, <laughs> the last bit of the video was a rip, but doesn't really matter. It wasn't really that important. Point is, that was a quick trip down memory lane. That shows uh, kind of where we started, or like almost where we started, to uh, where we are now. So kind of showing off the progression. It was uh, kind of fun to go back, kind of cringy as well. Probably won't look at those videos for quite some time again. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed it. But yeah, thank you very much. You guys are awesome. Thank you for the continued support. It is awesome to be able to do this. It's awesome to be able to kind of like, you know, continue to grow, continue to build this into something that we can all be a part of. So uh, yeah, if you guys, of course, aren't part of the Discord, make sure you uh, check that link out down below because, you know, I spend a fair amount of time in there as well. So if you guys want to, you know, get involved with the community outside of the YouTube channel, then that's a good place to be. But of course, in the kind of grand scheme of things, we're just really getting started. You know, a million is a massive milestone, but we've got so much more stuff. We're working on some really awesome stuff. Things that we haven't quite been able to share with you guys yet. We're getting ever closer to actually being able to show you. And when we do, trust me, you guys are definitely not going to want to miss this. So yeah, we are, uh, we're just getting started. But thank you for the continued support. You guys are awesome. And uh, stay tuned for plenty more gaming videos.